Hey, it's Matt Moscona. You found it. It's AFR LSU, your home for daily content on your favorite team, Fight Tigers of LSU. And we're proud to be presented by BetUS, where this football season get a 150% bonus on your first deposit and a 125% bonus on your next two deposits up to $2,000. Be sure to use the promo code YouTube150. Now, enjoy the video. LSU! Cruton season never stops. Shea Dixon on three, the Bengal Tiger. He's the best at it, so he joins us here on Tuesdays. How are you, dude? That's very kind of you to say, Matt. Thank you. Is it incorrect? I'm doing fine. Is it incorrect? Well, I'm in no position to judge that, but if you feel that way, I feel good about it. I think you are in a position to judge that, but if you want to be modest, that's fine. Um, okay. Let's talk about the on 300. You want to start there? I know that uh, you guys updated that, so give me the deets. What's significant? Yeah, the most significant is, and I guess to give you the very quick closeness version, uh, we end up with 32 five stars, which you know kind of mirrors the NFL draft uh, with 32 total first rounders. So five stars considered a, a potential future first round pick. Uh, but we expanded as time goes on. So now we've moved to 18 five stars, and by the end of the cycle, we'll have 32. Um, do it just that way to make sure you're not throwing a five star on someone and then you're taking it away from them and giving it back to them and all that. So slowly expands. And with the most recent release, we are at 18 five stars. And uh, that means with on three now, uh, there are three uh, uh, five stars committed to LSU. Uh, one of them remains the number one player in the country, and Bryce Underwood, the quarterback. Uh, the other is the number three player in the country, DJ Pickett, uh, cornerback. And then uh, the newest five star is Harlan Berry, uh, coming uh, out of the New Orleans area, Metairie. Uh, he is now an on three five star. He had already been an on three industry five star, so multiple outlets have him ranked as that now. But I will note, Matt, that with on three, all three of those guys I mentioned, the aforementioned, are the number one quarterback cornerback and the running back in the country and they are not far off from some others i mean we've got a couple of other linemen in curious current and tyler miller which is the number two and three interior offensive linemen uh in the country which includes obviously guards and centers and um kate phillips has continued to soar off uh, who they flipped from texas i want the shock if he finishes as the top five corner and i could go on and on but they entered the rankings week at three overall they're still there. In fact, they went up a little bit percentage-wise, and uh, that's right where you want to be. And no country, or excuse me, no school in the country has more five stars committed at this point than LSU. They have mm-hmm. three, three of the eighteen, and uh, one school, Ohio State's matched it. They have three, but Bama, Georgia's, everybody else is uh, is still trailing behind them in that department. So it is a uh, a very good day, I think, when you look back on how they put together this class, top to bottom, Matt, really addressing needs. To say you've done all that, but then to also say, oh, you have the number one player. Oh, you have two of the top three players. Oh, you have three five stars. They haven't even expanded it to 32 five stars yet. So really phenomenal job, I think, um, in this first year of this new defensive staff. And now the offensive staff, obviously, with some real continuity kind of year. We'll get right back to the video, but it's a great time to discover BetUS if you haven't done so yet. If you love to sports bet, you need to use BetUS. If you've never sports bet, it's time to find BetUS. It's simple, y'all, and right now they've got an amazing offer. Go to BetUS, you get a 150% bonus on your first deposit and a 125% bonus on your next two deposits up to $2,000. Why wouldn't you take advantage of this amazing offer? Make sure you use the promo code YouTube 150, it's all right here on the screen. Let me show you how easy it is to use BetUS. Go to BetUS, you'll hit the football tab on the left side, choose college football. All of your games are listed right here. So there's Saturday, September the 21st. We're going to scroll to that 2.30 window, and we're going to find LSU. I guess it's 3.30 technically uh, Eastern, but we're going to find LSU against UCLA. Here it is in Tiger Stadium. Tigers, a massive favorite 24 and a half. That's what happens, UCLA, when you go get your head kicked in at home by Indiana. Listen, I know I told you all take LSU last week. I picked them 31-13 against South Carolina. Let's be honest. Tigers had two red zone possessions where they came away with no points and gave away two long runs to you uh, to South Carolina. So I get it. 
Those things happen, but the Tigers are on the doorstep of a blowout. I don't know how UCLA keeps this close. I know 24 and a half is a lot, but let's lay those points with the Tigers. We'll come over to the right side of the page. It'll ask you how much you want to wager. Let's go 25 bucks, easy enough. Place my bet. It's going to ask us to confirm. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. And here is your confirmation of the bet right there. It's just that easy at BetUS. So take advantage of this great offer right now. 150% bonus on your first deposit, 125% bonus on your next two deposits, up to $2,000 when you use the promo code YouTube150. It's all right here on the screen. Now, enjoy the rest of the video. Shay, is there anybody else currently committed that you think has a chance to end up as one of those 32 five stars? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the alignment crept up. Curious Kern could be that guy we have, in, I believe, inside the top 40. As I said, we get to 32. And I'm not knocking him up this list to go longer. I won't knock Kate Phillips out of this race. We had him in the top 60s and moved up again. He is just a phenomenal, phenomenal. The corner position so well. Uh, this is exactly what you needed when you toss him eight landing. Uh, out of Rustin in year one of Corey Raymond coming back. Like you needed the development on the field, but you needed the recruiting shops. And they lacked that the prior two years. And uh, Corey in his first year, like I said, locked up the number one corner. I think that Phillips will be a top five corner. And I certainly think that ending with a strong senior season at Rustin is going to end up one of the more highly rated corners. So uh, at a position of great need, uh, they've addressed it not just with the hire, but with the results. Yeah, Brian Kelly said it as much um, in his press conference on Monday that they just got to get better on the back end and the, the cavalry's on the way. And noticed uh, you had a, a, an opportunity to speak to um, to some of the current commits after the win against South Carolina. Uh, what stood out? I think that all of them were had a very similar response of they went down 17 nothing and came back and they won on the road in the SEC, and that's very tough to do. And I think even from a high school perspective, you understand when you fall behind in a game, how often do you come back from that type of deficit? And to be able to do it shows a lot of grit. Um, nobody had anything to say uh, that was like, oh, man, it scared me. And more than half of them, and I'll give you a lot of the defensive guys, really were like, hey, look, we knew that this was going to continue to be a rebuild, that like Baker and this new defensive staff come in, and they're trying to bring in more high school guys to develop them. And they were excited that they get to see guys like Deshaun Spears start. That uh, I think Tyler Miller had one of the better quotes as well. Uh, short and to the point, you know, I'm in a, a top three alignment out of Mississippi, uh, but top three in the country. Uh, I just said, what did you think of the game? He goes, what did I think of the game? Caden Durham is what I thought of that game. <laughs> he said, they's that dude. So I think a lot of them like to see. Uh, Ahmad Bro was out there on that first series getting snaps at DT. They like saying, hey, look, these guys came in and they're getting opportunities on the road to start SEC play. I could do that if I come in and, and make that sort of impact. So um, viewed through a much different lens, I think, than maybe we view it through and certainly fans. Hey, you've, uh, you've taught me well over the years, Shay, that recruits view things dramatically different than media or fans do. Shay Dixon's with us on 3, the Bengal Tiger. Get him on Twitter, X, at Shea Dixon. Uh, home game this weekend, Shay, with UCLA – is uh, Are we expecting this to be a significant recruiting weekend? Yeah, we'll start to put together kind of a confirmed list as we get a little bit closer. A lot of guys, obviously, with a 2.30 game, um, Louisiana and Texas kids, you know, play Friday night, they have film study Saturday morning, and then how quickly can they make it to campus uh, becomes the hurdle when you don't have a night game. Obviously, night games give them a lot more time to get over here, but uh, I will say that by far uh, the most notable visitor will be DJ Pickett, who um, is the, again, number one corner in the country, top three player in the country, committed to Corey Raymond and said that he committed to LSU because of Corey and he wants to be developed and uh, kind of follow that same path of getting back to DBU. And it doesn't get much better than him. It's the first of three uh, home games he plans to attend. So, uh, the more often you keep him around, the better. He'll be here for UCLA this weekend with his family, and then he'll be back. I believe it's Bam and Oklahoma are the other two games. But uh, good that early in the season here that you're getting him onto campus. And uh, after him visiting Miami, where his cousin is playing right now, um, they were in the final kind of grouping. So it's always worth monitoring when he goes to that campus. But 
he's maintained he's solid. His dad said the same. Uh, now he's headed over to Baton Rouge this weekend, and uh, I'm certain that you won't miss him. If you're a fan and you're looking at recruits on the sidelines, he's the legit 6'3", 6'4", kid standing out there that looks like he probably should already be shooting up uh, at DB. Uh, um, so- a massive, massive pull. Suffice to say, DJ Pickett, uh, when LSU opens up the season next year against Clemson, uh, he will be on the field in the first defensive series. Safe assumption? If not, that means that uh, some of these other guys like uh, the Stamps and the Jim Group Woodland uh, had a hell of a season and off seasons. Um, I think that we've seen it with Stingley. We saw it with Eli Ricks. We saw it with a number of corners. Greedy not long into his career. Dante Jackson not long into his career. Um, Christian Fulton, and I could go on and on, uh, but, but yes, that if you're this good and, and this highly touted, I'm not even talking rankings. I'm just saying what I know that from sources, the staff thinks of a guy like DJ Pickett, that yes, he will be on the field early and often next year. A uh, couple more for you, Shay. Uh, any update on the Jakeem Stewart situation? All's been mom, and I don't think that's a terrible thing, right? He's at car now. He's going to school. I think he's in the process of just figuring out if I'm reclassifying, how do I get this all in order for when I can be able to reclassify it? That's December, the end of the thing, then the second semester, the spring semester. Is it into the summer? Is there a way to get me onto a college campus by next fall? Uh, and I think that the kind of he needs to go about that quietly. Uh, things kind of blew up there for a couple of weeks where it became very public and um, not a, I, I didn't think a great look of pulling, you know, you pull out a couple of days before the season starts in St. Aug, then you end up at Carr and now you're not playing. And he also didn't play his freshman year because of being ruled uh, ineligible. And now you're talking about skipping a senior year, I meaning you have only played a sophomore year of football. And that's not the best case scenario. So I think right now he's. He and his camp and others, college coaches. Um, look, I know Frank Wilson's been involved here. I'm saying, look, if you're going to come to LSU, here's the path, right? Like, here's what you need to do at car. Here's where you can put together coursework that will get you in, the, you know, the credits transfer, and here's how many hours you need to carry, and the guidance counselors and everyone there will help out. So uh, I think it's kind of a good thing right now that we're not on a day-to-day update uh, with Jakeem Stewart. I think he needs to go ahead and figure out exactly what he wants to do so that the next time that it's public about, hey, look, this is what my future holds, that it's uh, a bit more uh, finite and locked in than, than it was previously. Shay, we're getting close uh, with every passing day to that early signing period. What should we be keeping an eye out for from a recruiting perspective here in the next eight weeks? I think the biggest thing you look at is the reality that um, bulk of them will be signed in the early signing period. So you've got 26 guys right now committed. They'll all go ahead and get signed. Uh, And then I think, too, you watch, do you end up flipping guys? I mean, they flipped nearly 40% of their signees a year ago were flipped from teams. So I think that's one big thing to kind of keep an eye on. As other teams potentially struggle or guys change their mind, do you end up having sort of a change of heart and you flip some guys? Uh, but I don't worry too much about kind of LSU spot right now and guys flipping could have an effect here too, maybe, but there is no panic button. Bryce Underwood's not going anywhere. DJ Pickett's not going anywhere, but this, you know, that's giving no indication. Harlan Berry, all these guys. So they've stuck through. They know kind of what's ahead, what's been pitched to them. And uh, I think more so than anything that LSU will be out on the road checking in on those guys, eventually in home visits, and just making sure they like daily contact that given you want to sign 25 to 30 high school guys a year and 26 are already in, that's your focus is just keeping those guys on board because if you do, you've addressed it pretty well top to bottom and you've got a top three class. So will they add more people? Sure. Uh, will they hit that new offer? Sure. Could a guy or two leave the class? I mean, odds are probably. But they could also probably flip some guys. I think that, by and large, though, this is the class we see they're bringing in. They just have to work to keep it. Shay Dixon on three, the Bengal Tiger. Get him at Shay Dixon. All right, man, we appreciate it. Thank you. Yep, thanks for having me on, Matt. Thanks so much for watching the video. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, hit the bell so you're notified when we post a new video. And remember to support BetUS, where right now, 
you can get a 150% bonus on your first deposit and a 125% bonus on your next two deposits up to $2,000. Be sure to use that promo code YouTube150.